Gals and Harry here from Drake Wing Gamers. Some of, you may on, blah, some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Remember the Flowers. So y'all, mm, I'm full of full of good soup. I'm just smoked up a bit. Full of good soup. Nice and warm in my room. I'm happy y'all. So we're gonna, it's gonna be more of a little bit of a laid back episode. So maybe a little bit slower. You know, a little different. But hey, variety's the spice of life. So let's jump right in, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Open your hands. I do as I'm told, and he drops a small wad of paper. Wait, are these plumes? Think of it as a starting loan. I'm sure there's stuff you'd want to buy, too. My treat. I shake my balled-up fist at him with fervor, but greedily accept the donation and then stash the cash in my bag. I want some gloves ASAP. The cold is easily penetrating my clothes, but I think I'll be fine as long as I'm covered. As we walk, I notice Aaron's boots. He looks sturdy, but they have an opening so, opening, so some of his paw sticks out. Are they for his claws? Don't you get cold in those? A little, but nothing I can't handle. What about you? You seem pretty used to this. Where I grew up, we had snow like this all the time. I'm more at home here than in the desert, that's for sure. I'll have to keep that in mind. We should fix. We should still fix you up with some, with some new gear, at least. I'll say. Some wool socks would be nice right about now. Sounds like a good place to start. Let's head to the shopping block, then. Let's shop some block. One second, y'all. Okay. Aaron leads me down to the aforementioned stairs, which gives me a good look at the town. It does look pretty small. Maybe about two dozen buildings in, in total of that. I guess that'll make it easier to navigate. Watch your step. A lot of the paths are heated, but after a fresh snowfall like, it, like this, it'll be a little slippery. Got it. We make our way slowly. These sneakers are not going to cut it. I need some decent boots while we're at it. I just hope they sell human clothes up here. Huh. Human clothes? Thankfully, due to the small volume of shops, it doesn't take us long to find a, to find a lot of what I, what I need. Apparently, this place is so fancy-smancy that... Schmancy. That they don't even physically keep a lot of merchandise up here. You just go to the counter and ask for what you want. After that, not even a minute later, they'll port it to the front desk for the checkout. I'm surprised there's even a checkout, but I guess technology can't do everything. I scored myself a nice pair of wool socks, boots, and some mittens. Aaron helped me figure out how to pay for things, like practice for when I get to get my Axiom. It just looks like mobile bank, mobile banking to me, not too hard. As soon as we pay for everything, I put on my new socks and boots and instantly feel so much better. Aaron chuckles as he stores the crappy sneakers I had in his Axiom. Glad to see someone's having a good time. Hard not to. I couldn't wait to get out of those things. Can't say I blame you. You sure you don't want another jacket while we're here? I think I'll be fine. I warmed up a good amount just wa just walking around. Got it. Don't hesitate to let me know, though. Don't want you suffering in silence. Yes, sir. I'll be sure to tell you. I head back outside to test out my new boots. Can't even tell I'm walking on the snow anymore. Indeed, I do feel pretty comfortable out in this kind of weather. Although, now that I think about it, there is one part of my body that can't seem to get warm. My back's been feeling kind of achy. I have some supplies to pick up to pick up down the street. Afterward, we can head home. Is that all right? Sounds good to me. Honestly, that's that'll probably uh, that's probably all I can handle anyway. Starting to get a little tuckered out. I can always give you a piggyback ride if you want. I might need to p take you up on that. Don't worry, I'll be okay for a while longer. And by all means, let's go. Aaron takes us down to one of the last buildings on the plateau. I can even see the guardrail blocking the edge of the cliff. Whoa, can I go look over there? Hmm, oh, sure, just be careful. I'll only be a few minutes. I nod before slowly making my way toward the edge. Oh man. Just like before, I can see an ocean of clouds in front of me, like with the sun clear in the sky above. The freshly followed smoke, the lack of people on the streets, it's nice and quiet. Through the, few break, through the few breaks in the clouds, I can see the green of the pastures below along with the crystal clear river. It's beautiful. Without realizing, I start humming the melody of a song I can't remember. Hmm. Mm -hmm. If I had the energy, I could see myself slow dancing with someone up here. Is that picture perfect? Instead, I just continue with the melody for as long as I can. Hmm. I'll see you like shooting stars. Mm -hmm. I'm 
not, I'm, no, I, I'm really out of it, y'all. I ain't no way I'm singing that song correctly. That's all I can remember. For some reason, I get the feeling it was a somber song with happy lyrics. I can hear someone clapping from behind me. Snapping myself back into reality, I turn around. Aaron looks happy for some reason. That was beautiful. You've got a nice voice. I can up and scratch the back of my head and look down. I'm not sure where that came from. I don't think I usually sing. But well, regardless, it sounds nice. Heh. <laughs> Thanks, you get everything you needed? Sure did. Ready to head back? Yes, sir. Let's go. I take one more look over the horizon. She had a camera. I guess I can come here whenever I want at the very least. I catch up to Aaron as we make our way back to his place. What time is it? A little after 3 p.m. Oh, wow, I didn't even realize, I didn't realize how late in the afternoon it got. Time flies when you're having fun. Fair enough. As we, walk, as we talk and walk, I still can't shake the feeling of discomfort coming from my back. It's like an icicle is creeping underneath my skin or something. What's going on? I stop walking for a moment and reach underneath my sweater to feel around. So long before I feel something that feels nearly frozen. It's circular. Oh, fuck, are those the ports on my back? I get Aaron's attention. Hey, we might have a problem. What's wrong? I get him to lean down to my level so I can whisper to him. He drops his jaw almost instantly. Shit, okay, here, climb on. Aaron drops down to a knee so that I can wrap my arms around his shoulders. Without hesitating, I do so. He sets a speedy pace back to the condo. Damn. Piggyback ride! Oh god. Aaron has me sit in the living room with my shirt off, but wrapped in a blanket. It'll just be a minute. I need to boil some water. Take your time. Sorry, I didn't mean to alarm you. No, no, nothing to apologize for. I should have remembered about the ports on your back. And think about it. And those are definitely susceptible to frostbite. Great. Guess I won't be coming up. Guessing I guessing I won't be coming up too often after all. Think we'd be able to get them removed? No, I doubt it. Here, you can stand up and turn around for us. Can you stand up and turn around for a second? Sure. I place the blanket down and do as he says. I can hear him wring a cloth, wring a cloth full of water. Let me know if it gets. Let me know if it's too hot. Let me know if it's too hot. Oh. He starts to gently apply a hot towel to my back, which makes me tense up momentarily. Thankfully, it doesn't take long for me to completely relax as he gets to work. Hmm. It feels good. I can't help but slump forward in bliss. Maybe these things on my back aren't so bad after all. Aaron chuckles. I'm glad you're feeling. I'm glad you're already feeling better. Good thing we aren't out. For, we, we weren't out for very long. I'll have to ask Vita how to work. How to work around this for the future. I know how to take care of these. Aaron goes over each of the ports one by one, easily warming me up. I've never seen any like this, though. I can't even tell what model they are. There are different kinds? Yeah, there are. There are different versions they give based on the user. I see. I'm starting to recall something. It's hazy, but I think getting these things embedded in my back was one of the last times I could really feel pain. I shake my head, opting to at least get something enjoyable out of the situation at hand. Since you're liking this so much, I can do it more often. It's probably difficult to reach back there yourself. You're telling me, although I worry that they, may, they might still rust. They shouldn't, but we can ask Vita about that tomorrow. Alrighty. Aaron, Aaron starts wiping my back with a dry towel. Okay, how's that feel? I turn back around to face him, feeling way more comfortable. Much better, thank you, I appreciate the help. Anytime. Aaron exhales a breath of exhaustion. I sort of avoid anything else stressful today. No complaints here. What did you have in mind? Hmm. A beep comes from his axiom. With a smile, he starts to swipe through a few screens before shutting it off. Well, how about we go through some new clothes I got for you? Whoa, what? Already? Yep, they were just delivered. It's not much, but I hope they'll be comfortable. Wait, wait there. I'll be back. Just need to head downstairs. I'll try not to burn the place down. I'd like to see you try. He says coyly before heading down the elevator. Wait, was that a threat? I look around. Maybe there's some sort of high-tech sprinkler system. Or it could be as simple as I don't know how to use anything to even start a fire. I shrugged to myself before plopping on the couch. I go back to my... I go to put my turtleneck back on before I stop to think. I'm already going to be... Re I'm going to, be going to be replacing it soon. Might as well keep it on, right? I fold it up and then put it on the coffee table along with the jacket. Man, what an upgrade of a situation. Although I guess my credentials aren't... aren't already here. I won't be sleeping here past tonight. Oh well, one night here beats a week in that crummy apartment. While waiting for Aaron, I trace over the scars on my arms. What if that's something I'll do when I'm bored now? Curious, I make a ring with my index finger and thumb and try to clamp, my, clamp, around, clamp it around my arm. 
and try to try to clamp it around my arm. There's even extra space. I really need to bulk up. A ding at the door notifies me that Aaron's back. He walks in, easily carrying a crate under one arm. I hope I didn't keep you long. No, not at all. Welcome back. Aaron places the crate down next to the table. Let's see. I got you some shirts, pants, pajamas, socks. He keeps going to the point where I almost get concerned. You didn't need to. I know, I know, but I wanted to be prepared. Can't argue with that, I guess. Let's find you something to wear for the evening. I can ship the rest over to the base tomorrow. I hop up from the couch to inspect the crate. It alone looks pretty expensive. I can already feel myself going into debt just to pay you off. I'll set you up with a payment plan that has no interest. How nice of you. Aaron sticks his tongue out for a moment before sliding the side of the crate over. Before sliding out the side of the crate, opening it. Compressed air hisses out from it. Ooh. Everything's all folded up to be efficiently packed together. If we're not going out, I guess pajamas would work for the rest of the day. More of a question. I'm not one to wear pajamas around the house usually, but I think I did, but I think deserve to be comfortable, all things considered. Sure, they should be, uh, down there. He takes a stout a stack of pants and picks one pair out, along with a t-shirt. I hope I got your sizes right. I do have to do some guesswork. Knowing me right now, extra small is still too big. Graciously accept the clothing. Rose runs a gym, right? Can I try to work out there? Way ahead of you. We were actually in the talks of making arrangements for physical therapy for you. Jeez, is there anything you don't... You don't think ahead on? You say that, but we lost you for about a week. You know what? That's fair. Heh. <laughs> well, if you want to get changed, there's a bathroom around the corner. I'm going to start prepping dinner for later. Something fresh. I'm looking forward to it. Good, and uh, do you mind if I change out of my work clothes? Heh. <laughs> it's your house. You don't need to ask me for that. Condo. Aaron finger, Aaron finger guns at me, to which I roll my eyes at. Yeah, yeah. Be right back. Same. I'll go change upstairs. Aaron goes to pat my head, but a sidestep out of the way. I don't think you'll be able to get me every time. Oh, I, oh my. Am I going to need to use my cat-like reflexes next time? I'll have you know I had plenty of training against such reflexes. And I guess I'll need to be a little more serious next time. It gives me that mischievous look that I can't help but chuckle at. Now hold on there. I think I could use a bit of a handicap, wouldn't you say? I'll have to think about that. Hmm. I'll be right down. Alright, let me drink some water real quick. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. He makes his way up the stairs. I have to start heading to the bathroom. Sure enough, even this small size shirt is a little baggy on me. Well, I guess that. Oh well, I guess that means an extra small wouldn't be that outrageous. The sweatpants are baggy too, but at least, but at least they're there. But at least they're comfortable. I get a good look at them in the mirror. The shirt, is, the shirt is black with a vertical gold strip on this right side. The pants are similar. Uh-oh. I hope that Aaron doesn't think I personally like to uh, person normally like to dress like... Like, I normally like to dress in black. I really shouldn't complain. He did buy them for me. Maybe it's time to broaden my horizons again. For the billionth time this week. I grabbed the clothes I was wearing and head out of the bathroom. Oi. Oh, fuck. I said it again, didn't I? Ah, damn it. I don't know why I say that. I say that when I'm, you know, out of it. I met with Aaron in the kitchen, staring, staring something in my pot. Can we just get, a, like, a shirt that says Yoi on it? Huh. Looks like he's in his own pajamas, not that I blame him. I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's had just as stressful of a time as I have recently. I'll look up and then pull out a chair at the kitchen bar. There you are. How are they? Comfortable? Very. I, I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but thank you, I appreciate it. Really, it's no big deal. But, uh... What's a record? Ah, now I really feel old. Well, it's an old-fashioned way to play music. They're big discs you had to use special equipment to play. Oh, like CDs. Huh? Oh, yeah, kind of. Just a lot bigger and annoying to use. Interesting. Can you tell me more? How come? Aaron pours something into the pot he's working on. You could say I have a passion for learning things like that. Ever since you mentioned your home, I've been curious as to what it's like. Obviously, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I don't see the harm in it. Can I ask you some stuff as well? Of course. I'll have to watch what I say, restrictions and all. Fine. This will make for an interesting game of 20 questions at least. What's that? Already wasting your first question. Aaron turns to give me a worried expression, like he actually did something wrong. I can't help but laugh. Sorry, just joking. As you know, my memory's a bit scattered, but I'll try to answer what I can. Hmm. In that case, oh, why don't you tell me about your university life? 
Oh boy, where do I start? We ended up chatting for the next several hours. Eventually made our way back on the couch while dinner finished cooking. Aaron asked me specific enough questions that I could recall nearly everything. More and more memories flooded back to me over the evening. Nothing groundbreaking, but a lot of quiet and slow moments I missed. Although for some reason, Aaron looked a bit sad from time to time. When I asked if anything was wrong, he would wave it off. You sure that everything is okay? I'm fine, seriously. Although... Hmm? Aaron responds sheepishly. I have to say, I'm a teensy bit jealous of your upbringing. At least from what you've told me. What do you mean? Aaron sits back on the couch with a mug in his paw. It just sounds nice to have a simple and quiet life is all. I take it you've been moving around for a while. Pretty much ever since I could remember. I see. Well, by the looks of it, you do live comfortably. That I do, but it wasn't easy to get in a, it wasn't easy to get to this point. In all honesty, I've only had this condo for a couple years. Before that, I just lived on the base. How'd you find this place any how'd you find this place anyways? Oh boy. Oh, if it's a touchy subject, you don't have to talk about it. No, no, sorry, I need to stop worrying you so much. I do want to be honest with you whenever I can. Just don't force yourself for my sake. I will do my best. Anyway, back when Xavier was still with us, we actually had a mission that brought us up here. Aaron looks towards the window to watch the setting sun. We thought we'd be untouchable if we lived up here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks. Your tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!